Recent rain mean not only rising water, but also rising concerns about an aging sewer system. Well, now one metro city is considering a major stormwater system upgrade. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez live tonight in Shawnee along a stretch of Quivira and 73rd Street. Andres. Yeah, Mike, not so long ago, the city had to shut down this stretch of roadway. Crews replaced the storm water pipes underneath because the roadway here was on the verge of collapsing. As you could imagine, that's a problem that costs a lot to fix. In Shawnee, more than half of the city's storm water pipes are beyond their life expectancy. A lot of them are showing their age. Once the bottom uh, rusts out of the pipe, then the pipe begins to buckle and close up. And that's where we get our failures. And Public Works Director Doug Whitaker says there have been many close calls. Like on Holiday Drive near I-435, the city is spending $1 million to repair the storm water pipe here after Whitaker's crews noticed a dip in the road. Left alone, it could have been catastrophic. Unfortunately for uh, storm water piping, it's out of sight, out of mind. And people don't realize it, but it's, it still has to be maintained. Recently, he presented three alternatives to the city council to fix the problem. Here they are with the price tag over 20 years. One was obviously was would really put us out ahead and take care of the situation and put us in a good shape going forward. The second one was really it would mitigate emergency repairs and help us to reduce the amount of those that would happen to us. And third is more of just more of a try to maintain and have money to do the emergency repairs as they come in. The city is moving away from metal for its stormwater pipes to concrete and plastic materials to increase life expectancy. They recognize there is a situation and we need to address it. I think it's just a behemoth task to try to figure out how do we address it at this point. And now the director's three alternatives will be considered when the city does go over their budget over the summer. Reporting live tonight in Shawnee, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.